The authorities in Warwick say they're working with the FBI after racially charged messages in plastic bags were thrown onto front lawns today. It all happened at dozens of homes in the Oakland Beach area. 12 News reporter Shana Loshuto has reaction from the Jewish Alliance of Greater Rhode Island who say, unfortunately, they're seeing an uptick in cases like these. Shana? Well, leaders in the Jewish communities say one thing everyone can do right now that's really important in situations like this is to just stand up to the hate and make sure people know it's not tolerated. Printed and sealed up, Warwick police say they collected about 80 of these bags you see here. Inside, residents found anti-Semitic messaging on a flyer, a rendering of Kanye West with the star of David crossed out on his head. Uh, it's not just concerning, it makes us angry. And um, this is not a state that tolerates this kind of stuff. Adam Greenman, the president and CEO of the Jewish Alliance of Greater Rhode Island, says these types of hateful acts are becoming far too common in the nation. And locally, there's been an uptick, too. He says that could mean they're just getting reported more, but he suspects they're happening more, too. We have definitely seen an uptick in anti-Semitic incidents in our state over the last few months and certainly over the last year. Uh, we track that here at the Alliance. It's unfortunate that that's something that we have to track. Warwick police say the bags included little pellets, which testing proved to be pellet fuel for home heating. Police emphasize they're taking this very seriously and are looking at security footage from the neighborhood. Right now, investigators are interested in finding out more about this car and the people inside of it. Meanwhile, Greenman says now more than ever, it's important for people, including elected officials, to stand up to hate. We need them to use their bully pulpit to say we don't tolerate anti-Semitism, we don't tolerate hate in our state. Now, Warwick police say this is still a very active investigation. You can help by going through your cameras in that Warwick area to see if you captured anything that could be the suspect. I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.